If you own any camera of any sort, smartphones included, why aren't you earning passive income with it? All those clips you saw in the intro here, those are clips I have sold to people all over the world. Today's video is all about stock footage and yes, I know, I know, selling stock footage sounds so boring, but it doesn't have to be. And you only need a device that can record in 1080p. I first heard about black box back in spring of 2020, but I didn't get into black box before around September 2020. And when I did, I decided that I was going to do what everybody else does when they start their stock footage journey. I was going to earn a full-time income selling stock footage and it was going to happen fast. <laughs> I set out on a journey of learning the ins and outs of everything that is stock footage and how I could use the black box portal to maximize my monetary gains. <laughs> Hell yeah. Blackbox is a portal where you can upload your footage and they in turn will help you upload that footage to four biggest agencies in the world. Normally you would have to upload to each different agency in turn, but now it's all combined into one. What makes Blackbox great is the fact that you can collaborate with people all over the world. I have personally done that and because of that, I have a huge library with clips from all over the world. And that in turn helps me see a lot more sales. How does it work? Well, there are different steps that needs to be done before your clip ends up online so that people can find and buy it. You can break that into three main steps, which is the shooting part, the editing part, and the metadata part. Blackbox lets you collaborate on the last two steps of the process. The first two steps of the process you have probably heard about, but the last step, metadata, is probably the most important part. Metadata includes the title of your clip when it's online in agencies, as well as the keywords attached to your clip so that people can search and find your clip. If the title and keywords attached to your clip is shit, then nobody will ever find your clip and it will probably never sell. When I then got into black box, I started learning a ton about metadata, how to write the best keywords, how to write the best titles, and what to do, what not to do, all the parts that make metadata great and help helps my clips sell. When I felt confident, I started helping others get their clips online in exchange for ownership in their clip. So that every clip I help people get online, I got a 20 to 25% ownership of. And I got really into it. <laughs> I got really into it. Like, I was doing 10 to 70 clips per day of metadata and also some editing. And I just wanted to have the most amount of clips online possible. So that's how Blackbox lets you collaborate with other people. You talk to other people, sometimes they need help with editing, sometimes they need help with metadata, sometimes even both. In exchange, you get a share of their sale, a percentage share of every sale they make of those clips that you help them with. The norm is 20% per job. So 20% for editing, 20% for metadata, and if you do both, you get 40%. But we're also allowed to charge more. Really good metadata curators often say they want 25%. I myself have experienced getting 50% for doing both the editing and the metadata parts. If you join the black box community, I recommend that you never accept anything less than 20% per task. In turn, I recommend that you also offer 20% per task to anyone helping you. Just don't be a low baller. Alright, it's a community. We help each other. I was churning out clips every day. I was searching my old hard drives for any possible stock footage. I helped others with metadata and editing. And by early January 2021, I had a thousand clips online. End of January, 2,000 clips online. Mid-March 2021, 3,000 clips online. And by early May 
2021, I had 4,000 clips online. I was burnt out and I was an idiot. So how do you succeed with black box and stock footage? Well, first you need to shoot great shots or clips. And all my best-selling clips have one or two things in common. Stable shots with a clear subject. Your shots can have movement in them, your subject can be moving, but if your clips are really wobbly, the chances of selling them are practically zero. And you don't want to spend time doing or working with clips that will never sell. But people always wonder what to shoot, and I'm not kidding, you can shoot whatever. As long as you can imagine a person using your shot for a commercial, a presentation, whatever, it can sell. I have sold this clip. So anything can sell, literally anything can sell, as long as it's great quality and stable shots. Then you need, of course, to edit your shots, and that is basically just cutting the in and out points and most clips that sell today are between 15 and 30 seconds long some are shorter some are longer i always aim for at least 12 seconds most of the time 15 seconds but sometimes you have a great shot that can't be that long for some kind of reason then it's allowed as long as it's more than five seconds or at least five seconds then you take your clips you upload them to the black box portal and you add metadata to them so what went wrong well, I was literally frying my brain. I was thinking of metadata for hundreds of clips every week. And I had a huge backlog of clips needing metadata and people wondering when their clips would be done. I was working a full-time job, not receiving a full-time pay. So yeah, I had to quit. I was hating every second of it. I am not going to tell you how to do metadata because if you join the black box community there are people and resources there that will do a way better job than me explaining how to do metadata properly. Once the metadata is done and applied to all your clips, you submit them, then black box will have people that look through all of your clips and make sure everything is good, this includes quality and title and everything, and then they in turn upload them to the agencies and the clips will be online for people to find and buy. So if I ended up hating it, why am I telling you about this? Because it's possible to find a balance. I did, and now I'm enjoying using Blackbox to earn some passive income, and you can do the same thing. You need to understand that Blackbox and stock footage in general won't make you rich. It's a small passive income that can help you see some return every month. But there is a possibility of earning Great money if you work with it over time. I know a guy that's earning $1,500 per month with stock footage, even more than $1,500 per month with stock footage. But he has also been in the black box community for a long time and he is also working with stock footage every week, a little at a time. I learned that it's not a sprint and that people or collaboration can help me with stock footage. These days, I am not doing metadata or editing for anybody else. I'm only shooting the footage that I like to shoot, and then I edit that and upload it, and other people are helping doing my metadata, metadata for my clips. And doing it this way has actually helped me double my normal earnings each month. So how much am I earning? Well, since last August, I have seen an average of $130 Per month in stock footage sales but it has started to increase over the last three months most of those sales are from my own clips and that's because I have focused purely on shooting high quality footage and I focus on finding great curators that do great work for me which in turn helps us both earn more money as I stated earlier metadata is very important when you want to sell stock footage and if you get into Selling stock footage, you should really learn how to write metadata. That way you can spot great metadata from bad 
and you really don't want to spend time working with bad curators because there are out there people that want to just write some simple words and have a lot of clips online you want quality work and that takes time and you should appreciate great metadata work I recommend that you also try to find balance in this find out what you love and do only that part if you are like other people I know some people that love to edit I know some people that love to do metadata and they're great at it and then there's people like me that only focus on the filming and editing part and that's okay and then you have people that only want to film and that's okay because you can basically go out film your clips never touch them just send them to a curator and he or she will do the editing part upload those clips to blackbox do the uh, metadata and then when the metadata is done you can go in and check if everything is okay because it's your clip so you have the last say then you submit those so you can basically Start earning passive income doing only the part you love the most. So why not try it? <sighs> Did you also yawn? <laughs> I'm yawning because this video is already way, way too long and I know there is a lot more we could talk about. But instead, we'll, we'll do it this way. If you want to know more about stock footage, if you have any questions, please write them below and I will make more videos about stock footage. I will also answer any questions you have in the comments below. Ask away. I will also share the link to Blackbox in the description below. I have to state the fact that I don't earn any money or affiliate commission or whatever saying this or sharing that link. I just want you to know that you can actually earn money by working with your hobby, filming or whatever. And if you're a full-time videographer, there is probably even a greater possibility of earning extra income as you might have a wide variety of clips on your hard drives and you might be shooting cool commercials every week or whatever. Whatever stage you're at, the possibilities of earning some extra passive income is great. Also, remember to mine your old hard drives. Those are literally gold caves of small nuggets of great clips that might earn you a beer or a new lens in time. Whatever it is, just go into those hard drives and mine out at those beautiful clips that you shot from your vacation in Portugal in 2018 or uh, your coffee trip whatever <laughs> just go and do it please so just a quick summary of the key points from this video focus on quality not quantity you'll hear this a lot on the Facebook forum page or whatever at the group page it's all over focus on quality not quantity if you have 3,000 clips online but they're all bad you're gonna see a lot less sales than the guy with 500 high quality clips focus on quality not quantity metadata is extremely important get some help if you don't feel confident doing it yourself but also spend some time learning how to do it you can do your own clips if you want you can help others with their clips and if you're a great if you learn how to be a great metadata curator you will see tons of work there is never enough metadata curators out there so learn how to do it great and you will see a lot of work and a lot of sales clear subject no wobbling again quality not quantity <laughs> very important as well find a balance don't burn yourself out like I did it's just a stupid thing to do focus on doing what you love don't focus on getting a ton of clips online and becoming rich selling selling stock footage that didn't work for me either <laughs> collaborate with others I like, seriously Help some people do editing or help some people with metadata. Find others to help you with metadata or maybe even editing. You can see how people 
edit your clips differently and it will also be a possibility for you to find inspiration for what you can shoot yourself and even maybe learn some new tricks you see how people sh frame their shots and different things I, I think it's interesting last but not least we don't need more swan or duck clips we already have too much of those I'm just kidding but realize that some subjects are extremely extremely saturated like like saturation to a hundred percent too much saturation beyond saturated so focus on shooting stuff that you think might be a little bit exclusive because ducks and swans is some of the things that are some of the clips we have probably billion millions of <laughs> but that's it for this one guys i hope you learned something new and that you might be inspired to try out stock footage yourself i really hope you do get out and shoot some great clips earn some passive income i'm promising you if you and if not if when when you get that first email telling you that you have had your first sale <laughs> It's great. It's such a good feeling. Like, oh, I remember it. It was February last year I got my first email. And still to this day, I smile every time I get one. And it's still special, but that first one, whew, you know, the first are always memorable. Not always in a good way, but they are great in this way. Thank you for watching yet another video. I hope to see you in my next one. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, please gently just tap that subscribe button and maybe even tickle that bell a little. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.